Philadelphia, I met a kid in college who told me he was attracted to men and he felt like God had made a mistake when God made him. That's what he felt from the church, that's what he felt from society, he felt that, you know, from, from hearing things like this is not natural. Um, and so he felt like God made a mistake and he wanted to kill himself. And that breaks my heart. And, that, and I, I feel like if that kid can't find a home in the church, who have we become? Right? That, that we need to attract the people that Jesus attracted. And Jesus attracted the hurting, the broken, the socially ostracized. church has not been marked by love for, for sexual minorities and for people who are um, uh, gay and lesbian. The number one perception of people outside of Christianity, uh, of what Christians are, is anti-gay. That's number one. And that, I think that should break all of our hearts. I think it should, you know, it breaks the heart of Jesus. Uh, so, so we need to be communities that magnetize people uh, and, and, and where people can find intimacy and love. says he's been selling it for 50 years and he says he says we can live without sex but we cannot live without love and there's a lot of people that have a lot of sex but they don't experience love and there's a lot of people that never have sex their entire lives and they experience deep intimacy and love and the church should be a place where people are freed up to love and be loved we can live without sex but we cannot live without love there's a lot of people that have a lot of sex, but they don't experience love. And there's a lot of people that never have sex their entire lives, and they experience deep intimacy and love. And the church should be a place where people are freed up to love and be loved. And the church should be a place where people are freed up to love and be loved. And the church should be a place where people are freed up to love and be loved.